BTS Jungkook, Untold Story of the Golden Magne from Beyond the Stage Being the most searched K-pop idol on two of the biggest platforms, Google and YouTube for years, it comes as no surprise that BTS's Jungkook is the most popular K-pop idol on Pinterest. Jungkook, born John Jungkook on September 1, 1997, is one of the most famous K-pop singers. Although his pop career initially got off to a rocky start, he quickly found global fame and success after joining the K-pop group BTS, also known as the Bangtan Boys, formed in 2010. Early Life and Education John Jungkook was born on September 1, 1997, in Busan, South Korea. His family consists of his parents and an elder brother. He attended Baekhyang Elementary and Middle School in Busan. When he became a trainee, he transferred to Singa Middle School in Seoul. Young Kook initially had dreams of becoming a badminton player when he was young, but after seeing G-Dragon perform Heartbreaker on television, it influenced him to want to become a singer. In 2011, Young Kook auditioned for the South Korean talent show Superstar K during its auditions in Taegu. Though he was not selected, he received casting offers from seven entertainment companies. He eventually chose to become a trainee under Big Hit Entertainment after seeing RM, now his fellow band member and leader in BTS, perform. To work on his dance skills in preparation for debut, he went to Los Angeles during the summer of 2012 to receive dance training from Movement Lifestyle. In June 2012, he appeared in Joe Kwan's I'm Da One music video and also worked as a backup dancer for Glam before his debut. He graduated from Seoul School of Performing Arts and Arts High School in 2017. In November 2016, he decided to forego taking the SATs, Korea's nationwide university entrance exam. As of 2020, he is enrolled at Global Cyber University, majoring in broadcasting and entertainment. 2013, present, BTS. On June 12, 2013, Jungkook made his debut as a member of BTS, also known as Bangtan Boys, with the release of the single Too Cool for School under BTS, he released two solo tracks, the first was a pop track entitled Begin on the 2016 album Wings, about moving to Seoul to become an idol and meeting BTS members. The second, a future bass track entitled Euphoria, was originally released as part of a BTS short film entitled Euphoria, theme of Love Yourself Wonder and later on Love Yourself Answer. Euphoria, co-produced by DJ Swivel, charted number 5 on the Billboard Bubbling Under Hot 100 Singles chart and has charted for 11 weeks on the JN Digital chart, the longest out of BTS members' solo songs. Young Kook has also been credited as the main producer on a few of BTS songs, including Love Is Not Over and Magic Shop. On October 25, 2018, Young Kook, together with the rest of the BTS members, was ordained with the Fifth Class Wagwan Order of Cultural Merit by the President of South Korea. Members of the Group 2015, Present, Solo Activities in September 2015, Young Kook participated in the One Dream, One Korea campaign, taking part in a song collaboration alongside numerous Korean artists in memory of the Korean War. The song was released September 24 and presented at the 1K concert in Seoul on October 15. In 2016, Young Kook was cast in the pilot episode of Flower Crew. He also appeared on Celebrity Bromance and competed in King of Mask Singer under the name Fencing Man, appearing in episode 72. On November 6, 2018, Young Kook performed We Don't Talk Anymore with original singer Charlie Puth in a special collaboration stage during the NBC Plus X Genie Music Awards. The song was one he had previously covered twice, solo, and with fellow BTS member Jimin. On June 4, 2020, Young Kook released the song Still With You, for free on platforms such as SoundCloud as a part of BTS yearly debut celebrations. Billboard described the song as having tinkling synths and gently strummed guitars and brushed drums. Young Kook produced the piece himself. In February 2022, Young Kook sang the soundtrack for Seven Fates, Chaco, a new BTS-based webtoon. 
titled Stay Alive, and produced by bandmate Suga, the song earned Jungkook his first solo entry on the Billboard Hot 100 with its debut at number 95, his first solo top 10 entry on the Billboard Global Axel U.S. chart at number 8, and became the first Korean soundtrack in history to debut on the official singles chart in the UK, at number 89. Jungkook collaborated again with Puth, featuring on the single Left and Right, which was released on June 24. On November 20, Jungkook released the single Dreamers ahead of his performance at the opening ceremony for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar later that same day, the single will be included on the tournament's official soundtrack album. He headlined the event at Al Bayt Stadium and performed the song together with Qatari singer Fahad Al Kabaisi, becoming the first Korean artist to sing an official theme for the World Cup and perform at an opening ceremony for the event. On July 14, 2023, Jungkook released the digital single 7, Feet Lado, to kick off his solo activities. Impact and Influence in a 2019 survey conducted by Gallup Korea, Young Kook ranked as the third most loved celebrity of the year in South Korea. He debuted on the list in 2016 at 20th, then ranked 17th in 2017, and then 8th in 2018. In 2018, Young Kook placed first for 10 weeks in a row for magazine High China, under the most beloved celebrities list in China. Young Kook is also extremely popular on social media amongst fans. In December 2018, a video of him singing in the studio became the most retweeted tweet in South Korea that year. Various artists have cited him as an influence and role model, such as Kim Dong-han and Hyun Seep X Yuwoon. Young Kook has cited Justin Bieber, Justin Timberlake and Usher among his musical inspirations. Young Kook's popularity has earned him the nickname Sold Out King as items that he is seen using often sell out quickly. These include shoes, downy fabric softener, wine, novels, namely I Decided to Live As Me by Kim Soo Hyun, which became a bestseller in both Korea and Japan, and Hanbok. Korean media reported that Young Kook had created a modern Hanbok fashion trend in the Korean entertainment industry when celebrities such as Jun Hyun Moo, Jang Doo Yun, Gong Hyo Jin, MC Oh Sung Hwan, and the return of Superman's Park Joo Ho began wearing similar clothing after he was photographed wearing it. Young Kook was 2019's most searched male K pop idol on Google according to their mid year chart. He topped the chart again in 2020, and was the most searched K-pop idol on YouTube in 2019 and 2020. On Tumblr, he ranked first in top K-pop stars for three consecutive years. On Twitter, he had the most retweeted tweet of 2019, and the second most retweeted tweet of 2020. In March 2021, Young Kook set a new all-time record for the most real-time viewers in V-Live history when his solo live broadcast surpassed 22 million simultaneous viewers, he first broke the record in October 2018, when his broadcast surpassed 3.7 million viewers worldwide. In June 2021, a lawmaker of the Justice Party used photos of him to promote the legalization of tattoos in South Korea, which works under regulations. The posts were widely condemned by netizens, who accused the lawmaker of taking advantage of Jungkook's fame for political purposes.